Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to show our newly developed uh, system, uh, robotic process automation and artificial intelligence in remittance process automation. So in this uh, project, uh, we uh, our motto uh, is let the robot transform the world. Uh, so we, we developed this system uh, from AI Infotech Limited and uh, we are uh, five members works uh, in this project and so uh, uh, in RPA uh, recently many of you use uh, Blue Prism, UiPath tools uh, for make it easier uh, but uh, because of our uh, complex uh, cognitive computing modules and other uh, computing system, uh, computing functionality. Uh, we didn't choose uh, Groupism or UiPath. We, uh, we worked with uh, raw Python. So why we used robotic process automation in industry? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, uh, we use it uh, mainly to reduce the human intervention. Uh, we can replace the human with the robot and uh, and uh, our productivity will increase and we can be re reliable in robot and the, the consistency of tax management is uh, so smooth in uh, RPA and then others uh, uh, others uh, main benefit of robotic process automation so firstly if I talk about the spectrum of the robotic process automation then uh, we can divide it into four part uh, integrated desktop uh, our dashboard where we can see the uh, uh, see the history or uh, activity of the robot and and the uh, process automation where we uh, divide the process and uh, we, uh, we automate each process that is the tax list and virtual assistant or virtual agent who perform the tax and which uh, tax should be performed uh, decided by the virtual agent and sequentially perform is taxed and then uh, then uh, the most powerful part of the RP is the cognitive computing or AI. We used um, several uh, AI technology in this project we we'll discuss uh, later. So uh, uh, the background of this project is uh, uh, there in some bank uh, they uh, process the remittance payment in manual process. Uh, just uh, uh, from other country they send money th through many exchange house like merchant debt western union transfers and they didn't provide any api so the uh, so the banker need to uh, verify it manually and in bank asia uh, already 20 employees team work continuously uh, to perform this task uh, so uh, daily average disbursement, uh, remittance disbursement in bank is approximately 3000 and uh, existing customer uh, who, who is the beneficiary of this uh, of a, a remittance uh, needs to wait 20 to 1 hour uh, for a payment approval sometimes uh, more time. But in our, by using our system just a, if a few seconds uh, work that could be verified and approved in a few seconds. So the objectives of uh, and benefits of our system uh, is automated the remittance payment process for fastest remit disbursement and transform the manual process into fully automated system. And also it will enhance the uh, customer satisfaction and optimize their time. Uh, also uh, the employee uh, could be could be uh, relief from the repetitive work and we can utilize them to other work and the cost minimization obviously so the system architecture is uh, a little bit complicated uh, I can explain so there are three part if you uh, you can see the uh, input part where we can use scheduler trigger or request which part from uh, the tasks uh, by the virtual worker uh, so the virtual workforce is our main part where we use database a dashboard and the most importantly automation engine so we have several automation engine 
and automation engine trigger the virtual worker to perform the tasks and our existing uh, external system where the uh, tasks will be performed uh, there are many uh, exchange house or other system like as a banking system where the information gate or verification portal where the uh, NID information will be gate so there's our uh, system architecture and the automation engine we used uh, that's here uh, first of all the data collector or uh, we can say it uh, as in banking as and uh, uh, this as and to perform the first tax and the last tax first tax is data collection collect the pending remittance and process it uh, then uh, to collect the data is need to some uh, sometime logins in the website and which required the uh, uh, the capture automation there's the capture uh, we, if we want to uh, if we want to log in it we need to uh, uh, we need to pick the capture so our capture automation uh, also a CNN based uh, model uh, which we implement using 3000 capture picture and, and it, it, it is done with uh, it, it was done with 100% accuracy and then the information cross validation uh, engine uh, here uh, after uh, collecting the data we, we need to verify the in this uh, information that it is approved or not approved so for this uh, purpose we we going to the verification portal or election commission portal where we get the uh, I get the uh, an, national ID card information uh, and they provide the image and we use the OCR uh, to uh, to extract the data and then uh, we use the matching algorithm that will match the uh, information pro, uh, pro, uh, uh, information with uh, merchanted data or exchange house data uh, with the NID data and also the requested data uh, for remittance requested data in as in banking site we cross met every every uh, combination then the algorithm return us the accepted or not accepted and uh, transaction automation uh, that will uh, uh, transact the automation in uh, actions house site and uh, we use the parallel computing to distribute uh, all the uh, all the uh, remittance in uh, each uh, in others and others uh, 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 actions house and then uh, we perform each tax parallelly so if we uh, now talk about the agent and algorithm we used uh, we used uh, we already developed uh, three agent uh, uh, the three virtual agent like first one is as in banking or abs virtual agent which which starts is to collect data and uh, submit the verified uh, pa paid payment in the in the as in banking side then the uh, verification agent uh, which will uh, proceed to the election commission portal and get the data uh, pass the data to the verification algorithm and the merchant uh, virtual agent we are experimentally done one uh, exchange house uh, that is merchant and uh, we uh, uh, this will perform the all tasks related to uh, uh, complete the payment in merchant also we have two artificial agents uh, first one is capture uh, capture automation agent uh, that will the cnn model we used and uh, uh, it uh, it uh, get the capture text from the capture image with 100 percent accuracy then the ocr uh, with the ocr to extract the data from national id card image we use the corpus of band which is uh, kolkata uh, corpus and then our uh, verification algorithm uh, which is context based name matching uh, algorithm we developed uh, and has the uh, benef benefit of this algorithm is that we adjust the input threshold or configuration threshold to, to perform this algorithm well so the our step of automation uh, this is the step uh, that first uh, robot start and then collect the data and then store and distribute then parallelly proceed the uh, transition to the uh, actions house and check the validation if the validate execute the 
transaction then update the status so let's see a demonstration so this is our system uh, uh, remittance process automation uh, so here if you want to log in uh, then uh, you need to log in as a robot each account belongs to one robot we can you can manage uh, uh, different how many robot you want just 100 account means 100 robot and they can uh, perform parallel so uh, if you log in the system you can see first the dashboard here the previous data uh, previous uh, platform or activity uh, first you can see the uh, total remittance payment done by this robot and the successful payment or pending payment uh, so then if we uh, turn to the robot setup then you can see the um, main information you have to configure uh, to set up this robot the, uh, we say we have three agent uh, first one is abs or agent banking system agent uh, so you need to configure the abs uh, agent uh, in the url or credential of this uh, of the site uh, to proceed in this site and then uh, uh, you, you need to uh, you need the payment verification information like uh, election commission portal uh, here you can uh, you can uh, uh, you can configure the this uh, portal and there's the important one the uh, threshold uh, so if you need to verify then you have to select the uh, choose the threshold uh, uh, in our case so we have three type of matching uh, beneficiary name matching sending name matching and amount checking so you can uh, set the percentage of uh, uh, matching uh, threshold and uh, for beneficiary and sender name and you have also uh, choose the minimum amount to check the sender name there are some constant cases that are required by the uh, bank and uh, other amount checking it is the percentage uh, how many plus minus amount should be approved uh, there's the difference sometimes requested in the uh, bank and uh, and the payment in the actions house there the amount is different so we need to check the amount uh, so then you need the also uh, the actions house information there is the merchant trade information, Western Union information. If we if we add other uh, access those, then we will configure. We will add other configuration curve uh, uh, here. So now uh, we use the uh, request. Uh, further, we will use uh, um, trigger or scheduler, which will perform automatically after uh, some scheduled period. So if we run the robot, what will done? It will uh, payment the pending all uh, remittance which will be which is uh, now uh, pending on the uh, uh, bank Asia site or as in banking site. So it collect the data and uh, if there is any merchant remittance, it will proceed to the merchant uh, portal then uh, take the data here and uh, uh, pass the data to the um, uh, uh, to our system backend and then it will proceed to the verification portal and get the data and check our algorithm uh, uh, to uh, approve or not approved in verification process if they approve it may it paid and if not approved or other problem the status will be show here so let's start uh, let's start the uh, robot run so when we run the robot run robot run that is starting so first uh, it's going to the as in banking portal for the pending request uh, pending request uh, it uh, in the in a page uh, 
uh, from here here is the uh, you can see the capture automation at the capture automated and then I'll proceed to the pending page so all is automated and I will perform all, all the tasks so this is the pending page we can see there are many merchant pending request let's go back and there the merchant it, it proceed to the merchant uh, portal to complete the uh, remittance uh, pending remittance to pay so check it and if the pin is exist this will open another portal which is the verification portal uh, there's the nid and check and check and pay it continuously worked like this uh, so if we check this uh, here, here is uh, one by one it will done and after all the payment will be done it will select the status of the payment here uh, here uh, with the verification rep remark if there are any problem in verification and if it's verified then it will input the bill pay amount in this box and then submit so our payment is uh, already uh, already paid it uh, and checking if you check the uh, all the output then we can check here uh, has the merchant payment successful and each time is verification successful is uh, it will proceed the payment successful and uh, all the data will be uh, uh, saved in the uh, object instance after all the payment will be uh, paid or then it will update the database and also update in this space here you can see it will uh, select automatically all the verified and is verified you can see here the recent payment which is paid now here is a recent payment so uh, that's uh, our system uh, um, uh, now if we go back to the Actually, uh, this payment already was paid by uh, the robot, and here we just check is paid, and we didn't click the payment button or submit button. Uh, just check is paid. So now, if we back to the uh, that's our system, we successfully. Uh, uh, successfully executed payment uh, in merchant rate uh, so we are almost done all the uh, process and we almost in the transition uh, uh, in the transition stage so we need to transit it uh, so thank you that's our system thank you so much